What is up, you tools? Target probably back in the video, and today we are going to be going over the updated Intimidator sim. So we're going to start from the bottom. The Intimidator sim is like the, I feel like it has like the biggest roster like across like all the themes. But yeah, we're going to start from the bottom. We got Leandro Barbosa. All right, we're going to start from the bottom though. We got Markeith Morris right here, mid range shooting, pretty good. He had an honest card. Did he have an honest card? I appreciate an honest card. But yeah, Markeith Morris, mid range shooting, three point shot, post scoring, defending is like a three. Strength out of four, labs, dunks, and shot of dribble also out of four. He has some really low stats, and he has some pretty interesting, like, like his mid-range. I wonder how good he actually is in-game. But, yeah. Then we got Avery Bradley right here, shooting guard. Defending is only a four for some reason. I feel like that should be a five. But, uh, yeah, defending. Playmaking is the same level as defending, which doesn't make sense. Agility at a four as well. Three-point shot at a four. Mid-range shooting at a four. Shot of dribble at a four, too. So, yeah. Avery Bradley right here. Then we got James Johnson right here. Strength, playmaking, defending, agility, three-point shot, mid-range shooting, lambs, dunks are all at a four. Decent card, plays for the Miami Heat. Then we got Manute Bow right here, like, who was like the only card from this whole thing that I actually like still have in my lineup. But yeah, defending, rebounding, post scoring. His three-point shot, you can actually raise it, and it'll be like super good. And then lambs, dunks is also pretty good. Agility's strength and playmaking is also pretty bad. But he doesn't seem that slow though. So yeah, Manute Bow. Then we got Marcus Morris right here who looks worse than Markeith Morris even though in my opinion I think Marcus Morris is quite a bit better but yeah shot off dribble legs you know, mid-range shooting three-point shot rebounding strength agility is all at a four I've never seen like a card like these like consistent like three stats but yeah three in post scoring three in defending two in playmaking not bad then we got Patrick Beverly right here all these cards by the way have like theme loyalty bonus I'm pretty sure well, I haven't seen the top cards I'm not sure what uh what's the name ability they have but yeah Agility, playmaking, defending out of four for Patrick Beverly. Kind of low. Three-point shot out of four as well. This season, honestly, that could be out of five. But yeah, Patrick Beverly right there. Then we got Shaq right here, who is, of course, one of the more OPS centers in the game. But he has a five in defending, five in post scoring, five in rebounding, five in strength, and a five in lamp. So if you don't have a Shaq already, then it's a good time to get a Shaq, I guess. Then we got Leandro Barbosa, who is kind of a weird card to randomly add into the game. But yeah, Leandro Barbosa. Agility at a five, mid range shooting, three point shot at a four. The stats don't really look that great. I'm not sure. Well, Lando Barbosa was like a technical foul type dude, but yeah. Then we got PJ Tucker right here. Strength, mid range shooting, three point shot. PJ Tucker, this is like the, the most interesting card art in the game to me. I really want this card just for the uh, card art because I feel like that would be dope as the uh, picture where like we had like Andre Robertson right there. Honestly, where is Andre Robertson at? I hope he's here, but yeah. Defending strength, three, three point shot, mid range shot. Decent stats. Rebounding at a four, which I feel like P. Tucker would deserve a five. But yeah, we got Charles Oakley right here. Rebounding strength. Not bad. Both at a five. Okay. Then we got Steven Adams right here. A lot of, look, all the cards that we've seen have been already were already here. So besides a Leandro Barbosa. But yeah, rebounding at a five. Defending at a four. Lambs and dunks. Post scoring is also at a four. Along with his strength. Strength should be higher for Steven Adams. But yeah, that's about it. We got Sean Kent, who's another new card right here. Pretty nice. Got a Sean Kent for the science card, whose card art actually looks good. All the Sean Kemp's card arts are kind of ugly. But this card actually looks good. But yeah, strength out of six. Rebounding, of course, out of five. As long as agility, layups, and dunks. Post scoring and defending. Brand new Sean Kemp card. I actually really want this card. All right. Then we got Marcus Smart right here. Mid-range shooting, three-point shot. Defending, playmaking. Strength and agility is at a five. Well, all those cards were at a, all those stats were at a four, and then his agility was at a five. His defending should be higher, but pretty good, pretty decent card. Then we got Bill and Beer, who I'm pretty sure this is a this is like I think there's two Bill and Beer cards in the game. I actually really want this because I do not have one. His stats look really good. We had three point shot, mid range shooting, rebounding, strength are all at a four, and then defending at a four, post scoring at a four. Same with shot off dribble. Agility only at a one though. He's a really short center, so I'm not sure how good his defending actually could be. His agility is at a, a one when it comes to like rotating and like helping when like somebody's like driving some room. But yeah, we got Bill and Beer here. Then we got Kevin Garnett right here. His stats look really good. Did, are, were his stats improved? Oh, I don't remember his stats looking this good. But yeah, defending, rebounding, strength, mid range shooting, post scoring, all at a five, and then playmaking. Lay to dunks, shot off dribble, and agility are all at a four, and three point shot at two. Decent card. And then we got Isaiah Thomas right here, who's actually a pretty good card, in my opinion. But yeah, shot off dribble, mid range shooting, playmaking, agility, all at a five. And then strength, defending, three point shot, lay dunks at a four. 
We got Joe Dumars. All the what's the name? The Pistons team. That whole Pistons scene is in here. The bad boy Pistons team is all in here. But yeah, Joe Dumars defending, playmaking, mid-range shooting, three-point shot, all at a five. Along with a shot of dribble. I play with Joe Dumars. His shot of dribble is not at a five level when it comes to like, at least like three-point shooting. It might be the mid-range shooting. I didn't really use him as a mid-range shooter, but yeah, Joe Dumars right here. Then we got Ben Wallace right here. Not from that uh what's saying bad boy Pistons team, but like from the other Pistons team. But yeah, strength, rebounding. Well, strength that is at a six, rebounding, defending at a five. Lames and dunks only at a four. Agility at a four, which is actually pretty good. But yeah, Ben Wallace right here. Then we got Gary Payton right here, whose stats for some reason look really good all the time. I don't know why his shooting is this good. But yeah, shot off dribble, mid range shooting, three point shot, post scoring, defending, and agility are all at a five. If all these, honestly, if his shooting stats are this good, his defending should be maxed out. Just based off of like where his shooting stats are. But yeah, Gary Payton looks really good. Strength is also at a four for a point guard. That's also super good. Then we got Dikembe Mutombo right here. Strength, rebounding, defending, pretty good card. But all that is at a five. Post scoring layups, nunks at a four. And then we got Dennis Rodman. Well, I think it was a set card last time. I think he was. But yeah, strength, rebounding, pretty good at a five, at a six, actually. And then we got defending. Was that always at a, I feel like only one of those were at a six before. That might have been changed. But yeah, defending at a five. Lips, nuts at a four. Same as with agility. And then everything else. Memory shooting is actually pretty good. If you can boost that up, that'll be pretty nice. Then we got Jimmy Butler right here. Defending is at a five. And this one only that kind of looks good. But it seems like Jimmy looks a lot better when you have like a shoe on him. But yeah, we got Jimmy Butler right here. He plays pretty well for me in game too. So yeah, there's also that. He's also on the Miami Heat. So, one of the cards in the game was, like, a player with, like, a throwback team on it. But, yeah. And then we got Allen Iverson right here on the Sixers. Defending, playmaking, mid-range shooting, three-point shot, agility, shot of dribble, all at a five. Allen Iverson is, like, a super good card. Strength is also at a four for, like, Allen Iverson. Layups and dunks at a four as well. But, yeah, pretty good card. Then we got Joe Kim Noah from the Chicago Bulls at a center, which is kind of crazy because we just did the Derrick Rose uh, team. We might If we get Joe Kim Noah, we might have to redo that video. But, yeah. Uh, defending, rebounding, pretty good. Both out of, I feel like his stats were updated too. I don't remember his stats being this good. But yeah, defending, rebounding, both out of five. And then layup, you know, out of four, post scoring out of four, string, and agility out of four. Also, technically another throwback card because, uh, what's the name? He's on the Clippers now. But yeah, then we got Zach Randolph right here from the Grizzlies. Stats for Zach Randolph still don't look that good. He might be a higher power than his uh, base pink diamond card. And if he's not, he's like around like the same power because that power... The P9 card is pretty low. But yeah, strength, post scoring, pretty good. For both of them are at a five. Mid range shooting, three point shot at a four. I'm not sure if his three point shot was always this good, but that's at a four. The thing is pretty low for a supposed Intimidators card, but okay. Then we got Yao Ming right here. Rebounding, strength, mid range shooting, post scoring. I really hope, I see we have the event cards put up, so I guess we'll go over that next. But yeah, strength, rebounding, mid range shooting, post scoring. Mid range shooting for Yao is always insane. I'm not sure. Uh, how OP that is because he's already he's already OP on the defensive end. So yeah, that mid range shooting as that will be also pretty OP. Then we got Zion Williamson, who we saw earlier that he was coming out. But yeah, layups and dunks, strength, pretty good at both of them at a five, and then three point shot, post scoring at a four. Why is his three point shot lower than his mid range shot? Like why did they make the decision to uh, make that the same and then post scoring at a four? It doesn't make sense. Same as three point shot doesn't really make that much sense. Playmaking at four as well, though. But yeah, pretty decent card. Then we got Patrick Ewing. The weird thing about this is that they have Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, of course, play on the same team. For some reason, they're at different positions. And because like they were on the Knicks together. So like Patrick Ewing's at like the center and then Charles Oakley at the four. So I don't know why they do that. But yeah, Patrick Ewing right here. Definitely a card that I want to get. Uh defending, rebounding, strength, mid-range shooting, post scoring, all at a five. And then layups, young shot, dribble at a four. And then agility, three-point shot, both at a two. And then playmaking at a three. Really good card. I definitely want this card on my team. Then we got pink diamond Giannis right here. Post scoring, defending, playmaking, rebounding, agility, all at a five. And then strength, three-point shot, and basically everything else is at a four. So yeah, pretty good card. We also have the event cards that they already shared with us. So in domination, there's going to be the pink diamond Zion Williamson, the diamond joke him Noah. And the Onyx Jimmy Butler, which in my opinion, I would thought I thought they were gonna have Patrick Ewing in domination, but yeah. And then for fantasy finals, they're gonna have Pink Nine Patrick Ewing, 
Diamond Sack ran up and Onyx Dikeme Mutombo. Honestly, I wish that they had different cards because Dikeme Mutombo already has a card. We have never had a free to play Yao card, which is really tough because I want one on my team and there has never been an opportunity to get one free to play. And this one you can't even get with like the collectible. So I don't know about that. And then uh, this Diamond Zach Randolph, we've already had one. So both Joe Kim Noah and Zach Randolph already have cards. You know, Joe Kim Noah's card isn't that good. Should definitely have had him. This Zach Randolph could have been Pack of Sleuths. I would have been fine with that. And then the Onyx cards, the. Uh, we never had a good Dennis Ramon. I'm pretty sure Dennis Ramon is in set, so we're going to let that slide. But Allen Iverson, besides the Amethyst one, we haven't had a good one since that. Since that one to have, like, like actually put in your team. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to use him on my team, but it will be nice to have Allen Iverson on one of my teams because this is a super dope card art. But, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'm not sure what the, they haven't shared what the Amethyst and the uh, Ruby and everything else, every single other reward is. But, yeah. Definitely, I recommend crafting this new bow if you don't have him already in the event. So, yeah, if you play, uh, what's the name? Uh, head to A is definitely a good card for that. If we go ahead and look at the store real quick, look at the packs. Of course, we got the Giannis here. Yeah, basically, all the cards in this pack might be might end up being pack exclusive, unfortunately. This Sean Kemp. I really want to get this Sean Kemp card, though. But, yeah, if we go ahead and look at the sets real quick before we end off this video. So, this Shadow War is... This Amethyst Yao Ming, or not the Amethyst, this Diamond Yao Ming. I'm not sure why I said Amethyst. Diamond Yao Ming. So you will need the Kimmy Mutombo, who of course is in the uh fancy final. So you'll be able to get him free to play. And then you're going to need, I'm not sure why this uh this is a diamond card, but yeah, then you're gonna need the eyes the Joe the Joe Dumar. I'm not sure why am I messing up everybody's name, but Joe Dumars right here, which I'm not sure how you're going to get him unless Diamond is your top award, and then you'll have a Joe Dumars that's probably like one of the other awards. I'm not sure yet. And then we got uh, Kevin Garnett, Sean Kent, which is a card that I want, and Leandro Barbosa. So I'm pretty sure these three cards are packaged. I'm not sure about the Joe Dumars. All of them might be packaged. Besides, uh, of course, the only one we know is the uh, Matumbo. And then for down here, uh, I'm not. We don't know uh, what the rewards are for the event. But yeah, we got Dennis Rodman here. Let's say if uh, so for us. So if your uh, top award is Pink Diamond, then if you want to get Yao Ming. Then there was these Amethyst cards. So the Amethyst card is this Joe Dumars, which takes 12 collectibles. And then I think there was Kevin Garnett, which takes nine. So that's 21 collectibles. And then there was, who was the Sapphire card for that? The Sapphire card was Sean Kemp, of course, which is not, you can't get with collectibles, which is tough. But yeah, we got Sean Kemp down here. Where is he at? Sean Kemp, the Sapphire card right here, which you can't get with collectibles. So you have to pull him from packs. And then the Leandro Barbosa, which I think is also pack exclusive because, at least for us, because obviously if you're at Pink Diamond tier, then the card is not going to, yeah, he's also pack exclusive. He can't craft him either. So if you want to get this, what's the name? This Yao Ming, you have to get this, you have to get 21 uh, Intimidators collectible, which is good if you already have some along with like some rings, but that's not going to be that hard to make up. Eventually you'll be able to get those. And then you're also going to need to open packs to get the Sean Kemp and this Leandro Barbosa. I might try to do that. Most likely I won't, but I might end up trying to do that. I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys going to be going for that Yao Ming? And then also what rewards you guys are going for in the events. Of course, the top award for domination is the Zion. The top award for Fantasy Finals is Apache. I, mean, I might legit have to like grind domination just for those collectibles. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the video. Unfortunately, the collectibles are not in main domination as well. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Let me know, as I said, what car you guys are grinding for. And yeah, if you need to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace out.